need everybody to continue to pray. That was a good prayer. We need it. <coughs> I know I need it. God's children to be effective for Him. Chris, we need to remember <laughs> that D, the one in Arizona. Yeah. Because they're coming out in September. They're coming here in September, I think the 20th. The 20th. The fourth weekend in September, I think Brother Clyde Bent, yeah. the preacher from Pilgrim's mm -hmm. Prayer, him and his wife, and I think his son and daughter in law are coming. Is that the 20th? I don't think so. I think it's the weekend after that. So, two weekends in a row. We've just got so much to be thankful for. God has blessed us. And sometimes when I get down, I just need to get off alone myself and talk to the Lord. I'll try to sing a little bit of a song here. Just pray for me. <clears throat> Sometimes when I watch the news and see everything that's going on and I just see the, the disbelief growing and just taking over this world 
And I wonder, Lord, how long will it be? How long will it be before He comes for us? I just hope the time that I'm here in this world that that maybe somewhere along the line that I can witness to somebody that God is real. And I don't want to go halfway with it, Jeremy. I don't want it to be part-time and I'm just a little bit here and a little bit there. You know, I've had to preach funerals of people that they were pretty good people as far as this world's concerned. They were well liked. They were well liked and highly thought of. And, but you know what? When I'd see, when the preachers would come and the family would speak of them, they'd always say things like, well, they really love their hunting and fishing. Yeah. Or boy, they loved to travel. Yeah. Uh, you know why did I had a funeral one of my cousins one time, just a few years older than me, and, and he was one of those good guys. I listened and I, and I heard him speak all these things about him. He loved his horses. Uh, listen, he loved going in shows with them. Uh, you know what? And I never heard anybody say that he loved his God. I'd hear the preachers come and they'd say, Yeah, you know, I was over at his house one day and saw him reading his Bible. So let's hold on to that. Right. Uh, you know, and I thought to myself... How the sun when I leave this world here. How yeah. why I, whether it be through sickness or accident. How the sun people when I leave here. I don't want there to be a doubt in yeah. anybody's mind. How the sun of where I laid my life at. How the sun of whose hands I'd lay her in and where my confidence yeah. was. I don't want there to be a doubt. How the sun of where my joy is today. How the sun I will continue to pray. I'd love for the Lord to lift me up. Just for a minute at a time, Shad, it seems like I've got a heavy heart this morning, and I don't know why, uh, but people I know one thing, uh, and there's coming a morning uh, when I won't have a heavy heart, uh, listen, uh, it'll be joy in the morning, uh, today uh, are you ready to go? I tell you when I worry about Jeremy so much, you know, and I was reading the other day uh, when an old Peter was writing to him uh, listen and he was trying to encourage uh, why the people of God uh, oh God and he said that uh, uh, I, I'm trying to stir up uh, uh, your uh, memories of Jesus uh, uh, whenever I talk to you. Uh, he said, I know then, uh, uh, shortly, I'm going to put off this body here. He said, as Jesus showed me, I would. Uh, oh, God. And he said, uh, but moreover, uh, why, I'm not. I'm trying to endeavor and that uh, after uh, I'm dead and gone uh, and that you uh, you'll have these things always in yeah. your remembrance yeah. uh, oh Lord he said uh, for we have not followed cunningly and devised uh, fables uh, listen when we preached to you and when we made known to you um, the power of God God and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But oh, 
Uh, we were an eyewitness to these things. Uh, uh, we was there uh, when we heard the boys uh, call out, uh, uh, listen, uh, why? Uh, we was there and uh, we heard the voice call out and say, uh, this is my beloved son in who I am well pleased. Uh, oh, come. And he told them, he said, and you would do well to take heed yeah. unto these things. And, and we preach to you, yeah. uh, the son, you would do well to take heed to them uh, as unto a light uh, that shines in a dark place. Uh, oh, Lord, I've been in that dark place. Uh, listen. Uh, people, uh, uh, don't you know that uh, darkness is just the absence of light? Of light. Uh, yeah. uh, listen, uh, uh, why? Have you ever been down in a cave? Uh, uh, why? Uh, down in a big old cave. And when you get down in there, and it's total darkness there, uh, there's no light in yeah. there. Uh, you know what? At night, um, if you go outside, uh, your eyes can adjust to the darkness a little bit, and you can see a little bit uh, because Brandon there's still some light there yeah. um, but oh Lord um, you go down in a place uh, where there is no light and your eyes can't adjust to it uh, there's just nothing there to yeah. see uh, uh, but oh uh, my Lord uh, listen, he's the only one uh, that can bring light in a dark place uh, why uh, people on the day and I'm afraid that uh, this world is getting in such a dark place uh, uh, why and you know what uh, they try to dob themselves up uh, with a little mortar here and there uh, they try to prop themselves up uh, uh, why with a few good words uh, uh, but oh God uh, uh, Lord, uh, people, uh, God is a spirit, yeah. and seeketh such um, to worship Him in spirit and in truth. And you know what? I want us, uh, God's children, uh, they need to be a spiritual house. Uh, listen, uh, built up on a spiritual foundation. Uh, oh, God, I worry that, um, listen, uh, there's a church on every corner, and I worry about uh, that. Uh, uh, what are they teaching? Uh, what are they putting out there? Uh, listen, uh, you know, and I, and I like, uh, sometimes I like, uh, to watch TV and listen to some of the messages and I try, I try to learn something uh, everywhere I can. I don't think you ever get above uh, learning a little bit, uh, studying on a little scripture, uh, meditating on the things of God. Uh, but oh Lord, uh, but I worry uh, that we give mm, this world so much ammunition uh, to make fun of us and not believe in the things things of God uh, because of how how shallow we handle yep. things yep. Uh, the sun and the roll right. and I was uh, uh, listen I was uh, going through the news the other day and I, I ran across an article uh, why and it said uh, how it was about uh, the author was writing, and he said it was about how he overcame uh, the myth of Jesus, uh, Brandon. And I thought that uh, that surely can't mean uh, like what it sounds. And I began to read that article, uh, the sun, and, and it talked about uh, when he was a young boy, and uh, his family would take him uh, uh, to a church. There was a Lutheran church he was going to, uh, the sun, and I guess Yes, it was a stepfather in his family, and he said his stepfather uh, would uh, was a mean man and would beat him and punish him severely. And so he said when he was a little boy, uh, why and he prayed that Jesus uh, would make it stop. And he said, but you know what? Uh, there was no Jesus there. Uh, listen, and he went on as the years went on, and he would pray, uh, let someone something to go bad, and he, he 
said, but there was never a Jesus there for me. Oh, God. And, uh, and he said, and I learned. Uh, and when I became a man, I found the true answer. And he said, it was all in me. I straightened my life out. Now listen, and I didn't need uh, that myth uh, that they tried to tell me about. Yeah. And you know what? And, and I read uh, there was thousands of comments uh, following that. And almost every one of them uh, was agreeing with what he yeah. said. And almost every one of them uh, was saying uh, that uh, I'm glad that you overcame that and I'm glad that uh, you got above uh, that foolishness and that they try to teach us uh, uh, oh uh, people today uh, uh, this church I'm telling you right now and uh, that if we don't have uh, the spirit of God if yeah, we don't have something to shout about yeah. uh, some, uh, this world just laughs at us, but oh, God, and you know, uh, uh, listen, it's so real, and so uh, what do we do, uh, why, and I thought many times, and you know what, and I know, I know there's a lot of practices, and there's a lot of religions, and did you know that 99% uh, of even uh, the Catholic Church Constitution, I agree with what they put down on paper, right. uh, the sun, uh, but you know what, uh, sometimes it comes down to a spiritual relationship with God, and how, how does this world see you, uh, oh, and you know what? Uh, uh, how do you make them know it's real? Yeah. And you know, and I was reading a story the other day. Uh, this lady, uh, she was in her mid fifties, and uh, she uh, was in the service her whole life, and she's been over in Afghanistan and those places. And even now um, that she's out of the service, she's still over there. Uh, she still works with the army, and she works with the people. And you know what? And she said. Uh, that how uh, uh, she grew up going to church her whole family went to church together and she said uh, when she was 12 years old uh, she answered the altar call uh, listen uh, oh God and she said uh, just a few years ago and uh, why her heart was so heavy and she began praying uh, listen and studying uh, listen and she said Brandon uh, uh, she got saved one night uh, just a few years ago. Uh, uh, and Jesus yeah. came in her heart. Uh, uh, oh, oh, God. And she said that uh, she, uh, when she went home, uh, her mother's in her 80s. Uh, listen, and God blessed her and they began to go to church with her mother and she began to talk to her mother and, and you know what uh, her mother was in her 80s and God came into her heart yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh and they've been uh, religious their whole life yeah. uh, been going to church their whole life yeah. but have never met my savior uh, oh God uh, people, I'm telling you now, if if you didn't meet my Lord with your face yeah. uh, buried on the ground, uh, listen, uh, ready to give your life up, and then uh, I, yeah. uh, you're missing the good part. Uh, you ain't going to miss it all, uh, but you're going to miss the good part. Um, uh, my Lord is real uh, today, and you know what? Um, and just like Peter said there, uh, we're not we're not following some myth here. Uh, I don't know. I'm not following some fairy tale. I'm following uh, the only man, the son, uh, uh, why that's got all power in his hand. Uh, oh, come! Oh, I, I've seen uh, too many things uh, where my Lord worked, and I've seen Him uh, uh, bring the light into dark yeah. places. Yeah. Uh, oh, I know that when uh, when that old man I called Papa, uh, listen, when he was laying and dying, uh, oh, I. 
Um, and they had him at home, and he kind of slipped into a coma, Brandon. And they called all the children around. They called all the family around. And they had him in a little bed in the living room. And I tried to give uh, everybody a chance and to say goodbye to their papa and to their dad, uh, the son. Oh, God. And I know for a fact and that he laid there three days and, and he didn't even know his own children. I, I couldn't imagine I not I knowing my children. I couldn't imagine I listen anything being stronger than that. Yeah. I, but I, I will listen there is today. And you know that he laid there a few days and they couldn't wake him up and they was just watching him go. And, yeah. uh, and no doubt everyone one of the kids would go over and whisper to him, Brandon, uh, you know what, I'm just trying to get in their last goodbyes, uh, and, and they said after three days he laid there, and they seen him, uh, he began to stir a little bit, and, and they said um, his mouth began to move, uh, uh, listen, and they they rushed everybody in there, and they got down real close to listen to him, uh, and he was saying something, and they heard him, uh, uh, listen, he began to lie a song yeah. as he was laying there and he said I love my Savior God yeah. Why? Yeah. because he first loved yeah. me yeah. and they said his hands raised up <laughs> uh, listen I don't know about you but I'm not chasing some fairy tale here yeah. Yeah. oh God my, the doctors had give up on him yeah. uh, the doctors had walked away uh, son, uh, but my Lord uh, my he was just getting ready to do a work there. Um, listen, uh, my Lord, I was getting ready to show uh, uh, how great he is there. And they said his hands raised up. Um, oh, and he tried to clap, and he, he just laid him back down, and he left this world here. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, my, uh, before that last breath was gone, uh, uh, why, he was wheeled away uh, on wings of love, listen, and headed home uh, uh, for the last time. And you know what? Um, that's the kind of God yeah. we serve. Um, um, that's no fairy tale, people. I'm telling you it happened, yeah. and I've seen it. And I've, I've seen it time and again. Now listen, uh, uh, my old grandmother, uh, uh, 94 years old, uh, uh, laying in bed, left this world, listen, uh, with her children on their knees, uh, uh, holding prayer and shouting. Uh, uh, the sisters come up off the ground, uh, shouting praises to God. I uh, uh, didn't even realize uh, that while they was on their knees, uh, their mom had left this world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Oh, God, uh, just like that old nurse told us. Uh, uh, listen, uh, won't you sing uh, Sister Patty a song? Yeah. Uh, she seems so calm when you do. Uh, and uh, Joey lined us a song, and we all stood around her bed uh, and sang that little song there. And we got done. Uh, she was gone from yeah. this world yeah. here. Uh, oh, yeah. um, uh, what do you hold? Yeah. Uh, uh, what have you got in this world here uh, that's worth more than my Lord? I'm telling you, uh, you yeah. better let her go uh, and you better get on board. I don't know about you, but uh, you know what? When, when I hear my name called, I won't be worried about anybody oh. here. I'm going to have my eyes yeah. set. Uh, uh, Tammy, now you won't have to worry about your children in that morning. And I know you do right now. Now listen, aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that that's the kind of God that we've got? Yeah. That He can overcome yeah. everything that this world can throw at you. They're killing the Christians overseas. They're killing their children. But I got news for you. When Jesus said that my kingdom is not of this world, yeah. if it were, then would my armies fight? Yeah. He wasn't fooling people. But there is coming a morning. And you know what? 
When Jesus steps off the throne, he ain't going to need no army behind him. He's going to handle it all himself.